Hey everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. In this channel, we talk about computer science, AR, VR, game development, and AI technologies. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for future updates. Unity Device Stimulation is a plugin that is very helpful when you are testing projects for mobile devices. So this is basically a Unity uh, editor feature that simulates how different aspect of your application will behave um, on a mobile device. It supports auto rotation, uh, touch input, uh, full screen mode and things like that. So today we're going to look into this and um, I'll show you how you can set it up. And remember that this only basically simulates the uh, inputs that you, that you give in your phone, right? So for example, if you try to take the input from the uh, keyboard, it's not going to uh, probably show you the expected output, but you can test out your game's resolution, aspect ratio, your UI, how it looks like in actual different devices and things like that. All right, so let's get into it. Now to install this package into your uh, project, you need to go to window and then package manager. And then from here, we need to click on this setting button and click on project settings. We need to make sure that enable pre-release packages is ticked on and then save the settings. When all that is done, you can go to this drop down on the left where you have packages and you select Unity Registry. And then you search for device simulation or simulator. And this is the package that you get and then you install it. I have already installed it in my projects. That's why you can see all that. So after you install it, you can basically see that option into your game window. So previously you should have something like this, but after installing the package, you're going to get another option that is a simulator. And then from here, you can select different screen resolution of your choice. You can use different like devices. Um, there is a bunch of devices that is already here. And um, in every update, they're going to add more and more devices. You can rotate this based on your game, based on your need. You can see if this is going to be fit um, into your like targeted aspect ratio. And then um, if you want to have some safe area, you can also do that. So this is the area where you should put your game on, right? So this is the safe area where it's better to put all the game contents on because there might be some menus in here and some of your content might cut off on the top. So there is that option as well. If you want to show it in a full screen, you can also click on this um, drop down and you can do maximized. So when you play the game, it should open as a full screen. All right, so this is pretty helpful. Uh, you can also basically add like such settings for low memory or um, the internet connectivity or language. Uh, however, mm, there is a few problems. So, for example, you cannot uh, you cannot find or you can simulate the performance, uh, the actual performance that you're going to get uh, from this. Um, you know, uh, like what is the frame rate for this certain device is going to be and things like that. So, you cannot simulate that. Um, and also, native plugins uh, that do not work in the editor is not going to work in here, um, right? And um, gyroscopic rotation is not like um, not supported as well. In the manual, you're going to find a few options to add a new device if you want, or you can also uh, try to um, like do device simulator plugins. Mm, if you want to create a plugin, you can look into that setups as well. I'll put a uh, link in the description on the documentation so you can find that easily. 